Today we're really excited to announce Utheme Pro 116. In this huge feature release, we have implemented a lot of your wishes from the official roadmap for Utheme Pro. Now let's go ahead and see what awaits you in this update. Our first improvement is specifically for Joomla users. The UI of the Uthim Pro Customizer got updated. Now you can change the width of the sidebar by dragging it to the right or left. The fields on the sidebar and the live preview will change as you drag the cursor. You can also close or open the sidebar with just one click. One of the most requested features was a sticky save button for the page builder. Now, no matter how long your page layout is or where you are in the page builder settings, the save button will remain at the top of the sidebar. If you ever imported layouts from a library replacing the existing one, you also probably lost unsaved changes. Now, if you try to replace the existing layout with a new one, before you save the changes, you will receive a notification. Let us know if that's enough or whether we should improve this even further. Starting from this release, you won't have to worry about overriding newer layouts, since you will receive a notification if the page has been updated while you were working on it. You can then either reload the page and discard your changes or close the notification and resume working. But once you hit the Save button, you'll have to decide to either preserve your changes and overwrite the changes of the other person, or discard your changes and reload the page. There's a new option to add multiple content items at once. Now, next to the Add Item button, you'll see the Add From button. Choose the Media Manager, and then simply select multiple items or all items in the folder. You'll even see the image thumbnail of the item next to the title. If you're using Uthim Pro on Joomla, you can now change the name of files and folders directly from your media manager. Simply select the file and then next to the trash can icon, you'll see the rename icon. Change the name of the file and click OK. There are some new settings for rows and columns. Apart from setting the height for the whole section, you can set it for each row. In addition, we moved the vertical alignment option from the row settings to the column settings. We also added another option, so now you can align the content of your column to the top, middle and bottom. We have improved the list element allowing you to pick an icon and its color for all items at the same time. This is really useful if you want to make quick changes to all items. Of course, you can still choose an individual icon and its color for separate items as well. And if your list item wraps into the next line, you can align the item or an image to the top instead of centering it. We have added another Max Width option to the grid and gallery elements. There used to be only one option that applied to single items. Now you can apply the Max Width to the single item and you can set the Max Width for the element itself. This is the same option that you know from other elements. Responsiveness and high page speed are really important these days. That's why we already offer lazy loading images, WebP image formats and local Google fonts. Starting from this release, the maps are lazy loaded as well. In addition, the map element got responsive and received a new width option. Before, you could only set the height for your map and it took the full width of the container. Now, you can set the height and the width. The map will behave just like an image. But you can also use the width as the breakpoint only. This means that the map will take up the full width, 
but when it reaches your set width, it will start shrinking, preserving the aspect ratio. One of the top 10 request features for Youthin Pro was a PDF icon. We took a chance and created a few more for you. Now you can use the print icon, the video camera, the microphone, file text, file PDF, chevron double left, chevron double right, and the Reddit icon. The HTML element now has an advanced tab that you know from other elements. Here you can add the name, ID, class and even write the CSS code directly in the element settings. And if you delete the element, the CSS will be deleted right with it. We have added two additional options to a mobile navbar. You could only have a static navbar. Now, you can choose the sticky navbar that will stick at the top of the viewport. Or, you could have a sticky on scroll up navbar. It will be static on scrolling down and it will become sticky on scrolling up. Modules in Joomla now show their ID in the module manager. This is really useful if you have two modules with the same title. The ID is also shown in the Joomla module element. The settings panel has been completely reworked. Now, both WordPress and Joomla users can enter their API key in the separate panel in the settings. Of course, the Joomla users can still add their API key in the installer plugin. The CMS-specific settings that you know from the System panel were moved to the Advanced panel. Also, the third-party services, such as Google Maps, MailChimp and others, now have a separate panel called External Services. There's a brand new panel in the settings called System Check. This is the first thing you should look at if you have any issues with Youthim Pro. That's because System Check will tell you about critical issues, improvements and recommendations for your system. It looks like I have quite a lot of issues, so hopefully your System Check panel looks better. As you can see, I have to enable the JSON, the GD and the Multibyte string extensions. There are also some other improvements and recommendations, so let me just try and fix some of those at least. Now let's reload the page and cross our fingers. Whew, as you can see, the system check says no critical issues found. Now go ahead and check your system. As most of you probably know, WordPress 5.0 with their new editor called Gutenberg is planned for release November 19th. With Youthim Pro 116, we take the first step to integrating Youthim Pro and the upcoming WordPress editor. Starting from this release, Youthim Pro can be easily accessed both from Gutenberg and the classic WordPress editor. You can also directly add a new Youthim Pro page. We will automatically generate and save a draft page that you can add it with Youthim Pro right away. These are the main features of Youthim Pro 116. For the full list of features and fixes, check out the changelog. We're really excited for your feedback, so let us know what you think in the comments below.